I actually remember watching the 2015 finals at home and that final was one of the craziest series I've ever watched. When people think about Fnatic and, and OG going up against each other, they always think about that final and they want to have that again. I watched the final back then in 2015 and to be able to experience that myself, hopefully, that will be amazing. I feel blessed to have the chance again to kind of redeem myself and be able to finish top three at the very least, but I don't see why I wouldn't want to beat the shit out of Fnatic. Our goal is to kickstart the new legacy of Origin here and surpass Fnatic and G2. They always have a really solid game plan and they go into the game executing. This is what they're good at. Here comes the big snowball on the backside, but it's not going to connect. Kill saying ready to flash it in a moment's notice. But when adaptation comes in... Now Nuke Duck is the one running for his life. Cold now in trouble as Reckless is here. Got to get the kill down. Prox is here as Whoa. well. Nuke Duck cut down. That's where they crumble. I feel like Origin has a really interesting aura around them where they are really just an, an actual team, they're actually a full-on unit and in an ideal world, that's how every team should look like. They're playing the way they feel like the game should be played. And I respect that a lot, because we got down and dirty, but we ended up winning. And that's the thing, we're committed to dragging people down into the dirt and making it a slaughter. The Emperor's Divide, and Whippo's gonna get to- Ooh! Ooh! Where did that damage come from? I'm really confident in my team. We've stepped up a lot the past few months, and. We've started growing, we've started playing as a unit and we all have full trust in each other and I don't really think anyone will be able to stop us at this point. We're just gonna go in with a winning spirit and whoever is in front of us, we're coming to kill.